Hey guys, it's Russell back. Today is August the 9th, 2020, and on today's video, we're going to be doing the first oil change on the 2019 Chevy LCF 4500 with a 6 liter GM engine in it. And this is the exact same vehicle as an Isuzu NPR HD. Everything's the same except the Chevy bowtie emblem instead of the word Isuzu. So we're going to be using, imagine this, the Amsoil Signature Series 5W30 engine oil and we'll be using an Amsoil EA oil filter. Or is it EAO? Anyway, I'll show you that when we get out there. And I'm going to show you how to get to the engine because a lot of you may not really understand where the engine is on one of these trucks and also how to get to it. So, it's really hot outside, it's really sunny, so hopefully the camera is not going to overexpose the, uh, the video, but let's get to it. Alright, so here's what we're going to be using, as I said before, the Amsoil Signature Series 5W30 motor oil, and we'll be using the EA15K50 oil filter. Now, you guys may not understand how to get to the engine on one of these guys. Okay, this is a cab over engine design. And uh, let me get the camera off the tripod. Let me get the tripod set up on the other side because the sun is super intense. All right, so I hope this is a little bit better. We're kind of in the shade. So the engine is underneath the cab. And on these cab over trucks, the Isuzu's and the Chevy, Chevy LCF's, it is a multi-step process to actually get the cab to where you can service the engine, and it's very, very easy. Um, there's a couple handles that you pull. Once you do that, you just lift it right up. There's a locking bar right there, and the engine is super easy to get to. Now the dipstick for the oil in the transmission, in fact, here, let me just let you see what is under here. All right, so this is a GM six liter. It's in the it's exact same engine that's in the Chevy and GMC trucks, SUVs, stuff like that. This is a very, very, very durable engine. Now, this does not have air fuel management. It doesn't have cylinder deactivation. This is, uh, this particular engine family is used in heavy duty trucks so it doesn't have all that nonsense but yeah everything is super easy to get to you've got the oil dipstick and the transmission uh, fluid so pretty pretty easy to yeah pretty much get to anything you want to in here so let's go underneath i'm going to take the oil filter off and i'm going to show you where that's located all right so the oil filter is on the driver's side of the vehicle. It's right where the uh, engine and transmission mate. There's also, I don't know if you can see it, I'm having to get this shot remotely, but there's the uh, drain plug for the engine and also the heat shield crossover. So I'm going to use the band wrench to uh, Hopefully I'll be able to loosen this up. This vehicle has, uh, I think, almost 4,800 miles on it. This is the first oil change. And I'm taking the filter off first because I want to make sure that I have the correct filter. Before I commit to it, I'm 99% sure I do. There is a sticker on the side that I couldn't get all of it off, but it said which one it was. But um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is the correct filter. So on these trucks, it's super easy because there's no need to put any type of, uh, to put this up on ramps or anything. There's so much room under here.
All right, so I'm gonna let this drip for a little while and then we'll come back and I'll uh, show you what the old oil filter looks like and we'll cut it open. All right, so I've given it uh, about 10 minutes to completely stop dripping and I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, wipe the surface off where the filter mates and I'm gonna go ahead and put the Amazon filter on here the only bad thing I don't like about this is it's very hard to get your hand here so I'm having to use the the wrench be good now what I'll do is I'll take a I think this is a 15 millimeter bring the oil out of the pan all right here we are so the uh, filter is right here it's very easy to get to and we're just gonna let this oil drain completely And we'll come back when it finishes uh, doing its business here. All right, so we have a uh, pretty slow drip there. It's been doing this for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the drain plug back in. It is on the aluminum pan, so be very careful. If anybody knows the torque specs, please do so and tell us. Didn't, uh, didn't see it in the manual. Anyway, so we've got our filter, we've got the oil drained. Now let's go do the fun part and allow the engine to consume a huge drink of the AMS oil. All right, so wipe off the oil cap, cap area. All right, so I won't bore you with this six times. So we'll just come back when it's done. All right, we've got our six quarts of Amsoil in. And to get the cab back down, it's very easy. You just take this uh, locking lever right here and just pull it forward. And once it breaks over, you just slowly let the cab down. It's not gonna come crashing down. It'll latch like that. And then, you just take this handle and lock it down like that. All right, so, now for the moment of truth. Let's see what we get here. We got 4,821 miles. Yeah, the oil pressure went out immediately. All right, so I'm gonna let this run for a little while and make sure there's no leaks. And I'll be back with you at the uh, final conclusion. All right, so one thing I forgot that I promised you guys, we were gonna look inside the oil filter. I used my Long Acre oil filter cutter. This thing is awesome. And I've uh, uh, went ahead and uh, sliced it open, but haven't taken the element out. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so here is the element. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look in between the, the pleats to see if I see anything weird, any chunks of metal or anything like that. Now, obviously, you know, there is microscopic amounts of metal iron aluminum tin etc etc that is just naturally in an engine when it wears you're not going to be able to see that i'm just trying to see if there's any glaring uh, issues and i don't see 
anything at all. Now, it's, it's funny how small this filter is for this 6 liter engine. I know that the old Chevy 350s use like, a, I think it was like a, a PF8. It was a really big filter. Alright, so anyway, I think I'll go ahead and end the video there. The only last thing to do is uh, I'm going to let this sit about 30 minutes and then check the uh, level of the oil, make sure it's where it's supposed to be, and then we'll be, we'll be good for a year easily on the AMS oil. The maintenance interval here on this is really 7,500 miles or one year on the gas engine. So anyway, guys, <clears throat> I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you uh, learned something. I don't know how much the dealership would charge to do this, but certainly it's uh, worth your time and effort to do it. Make sure the job is done correctly, and it allows you to get to know your vehicle better. Thank you, and uh, taking time to watch the videos, and I will talk to you guys on the next one.